today marks the eighth year of the Good Leadership Breakfast. So today is our 57th meeting. That in Clea, yeah, it's amazing. That means just a little over 12,000 guests. What does goodness mean in the context of leadership and business? And you told us these things. First, it's about rewarding excellence. Second, it's about living generously. Third, promoting fairness. And finally, spreading positivity. And the more we keep studying this and listening to you, the more the momentum starts to build. And it's just growing right in front of our eyes. And good leadership is the art and science of creating great results by working together particularly in a, in a culture of encouragement. Uh, he's recognized as one of the top executive coaches in the world by Forbes magazine. He's the curator of phenomenal conferences internationally. So please join me in welcoming the world's most recognized authority on the power of purpose and leadership, Richard Leiter. Leaders need to have a clear reason to get up in the morning beyond themselves, beyond their own careers, beyond their own self-absorption. Um, the three questions leaders need to answer today are these. What do I stand for? What won't I stand for? And who do I stand with? That's what people are wanting answers to. What is it you stand for as a leader? What is our aim, as Heidi and others up here talked about as an organization, but you as an individual leader, what is your aim? What makes you want to get up in the morning and why should I care? What won't you stand for? Where are your boundaries? Where are you willing to decline and say no? Where, are, where does that fit? And who do you stand with? What is the, the kinds of people that you are trying to develop or work with, etc.? Purpose is not. It can be a revelation. It can come through a crisis. It can come through something in our, in our lives that opens us up to who we really are, to our authenticity as, as a human being. But purpose is a practice. It's something you get up and do every single day. And through that practice comes the revelation, the fulfillment, the happiness. When you go home tonight, put on a post-it grow and give and put it on your mirror and you get up in the morning you're brushing your teeth and you say how am I going to grow and give today that two-minute practice at the end of the day which I was just talking about my final comment here is to ask yourself how did I grow and who did I give to today if you do these practices for one week you will know in your own words what your purpose is and what the power of purpose is my purpose is to help others unlock theirs. Process works if you work the process. Thank you very much. Excited to announce that today we collected the total with the match, $6,320. Thank you very much. Thank you. I very much believe in an organization called YouthLink, a facility downtown that supports young adults between 16 and 23 that often fall through the cracks, the homeless people in our community that are most at risk. Thank you for letting me share. Congratulations. So we invest our hearts, our hearts and our minds to power human potential. Is that our corporate mission and guiding tenants are very much in alignment with those at the Good Leadership Forum and the seven Fs. Because the world needs you to be a good leader today. We think the highest calling is when someone says, you radiate goodness. So the question of the day is, are you ready to radiate goodness today? Are you ready to radiate goodness today? Fantastic. Then carpe diem, seize the day, and thank you. Just making sure that they know that they're valued. And trying to spread good. Encouraging them and saying, keep on doing what you're doing. Just a simple thank you. To show interest in what people are doing and what they've done well. Seeing how you've impacted other people. Mm -hmm.